Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for September and see what's going to be happening, what predictions we can make for you. Now, Scorpio, when it comes to consuming your tarot readings on YouTube, be sure to check out more than just your one zodiac sign. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign. In the top right-hand corner of your screen, Scorpio, I have a link to my monthly pick-a-card tarot reading for September. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments below how this resonates with you. Now let's begin darling nine of pentacles coming in here in the back of the deck for you really powerful energy here for you scorpio all right this lets me know like energy that's in the works of you starting to become more independent self-sufficient you're paying attention to the signs from your spiritual team right um of guiding you right now you might be getting some inspiration in the coming days here scorpio all right inspiration in the coming days that is trying to direct you towards what would fulfill you the most right you take a look at this card scorpio and it's an owl guiding this individual to one specific circle it's not the biggest it's not the brightest all right it's not even the smallest right it's one in specific and this person wouldn't be considering this pentacle there unless they were listening to their spiritual team all right and so it's as if your spiritual team is trying to bring something to your attention uh scorpio Scorpio, that will help be of service for your own personal endeavors all right could be financially progressing for some of you as well i get this suspicion for you scorpio of where it's either financially or just like trying to direct your energy to have some more stability in your life all right and so page of pentacles comes in right afterwards so for <laughs> scorpio all right as this reading progresses here this is going to continuously get more and more juicy i can tell here whatever momentum is building up like whatever it is that you're doing it's building up some type of momentum maybe you've been working on your mindset maybe you've been working on learning how to trust your spiritual team all right i see you using your voice more all right notice this theme here as well where it's just like you have that pentacle there so really reinforcing this idea for some of you scorpios so where it's like giving giving life to something it's time for you to start putting energy into a specific project scorpio it's time for you to start using your voice it's because i'm being shown like pamphlets scorpio so it's like you need to sell yourself more all right selling yourself more maybe you need to like create a course or write a book write something down scorpio i feel like there's something that you you know if you were to advertise yourself if you were to put yourself out there you know like there's something that comes to mind is just like you were made for like the spotlight you were made you were made for like fame you were made for having your voice be heard you were made for having being your own boss right and being able to be independent this is a powerful correlation here scorpio for those who are trying to be self self-employed right we have the knight of wands now as a tarot reader you can sometimes read the court cards scorpio as people all right so this is i'm explaining why i'm about to be talking about people now because it's not going to be for everybody that you know some people don't talk to nobody right i'm people so scorpio all right in this first row page of pentacles nine of pentacles with the knight of wands here socially i get this sense of like as you are going down your independent path scorpio i feel like you're catching up on your finances you're starting to get into like a workout routine perhaps like things are starting to stabilize you uh, stabilize more i see independent independence uh really coming in for you scorpio and it's during the sense of independence someone comes along crossing your path here and i don't feel like it's some type of energy that you need to pay attention to right i feel like it's an energy there just to uh bring out like the inner child in you right to remind you of like to re-excite you about living again i know that might sound dramatic all right and this might be some i do get this message here it might be someone that you already know all right so it could be just like the deepening of like reconnecting re uh with like an old family member or friend yeah the world energy here this is someone you haven't uh this is definitely either a sense of where you uh you and this person connected at one point in the past maybe y'all separated ways to a swords there and then y'all are finding your way back to one another here but i also get as like a specific message for you scorpio of where it's like it's like i feel like i'm t i'm tuning into like a new chapter for you scorpio and i feel like you are that knight of wands i see you as this sense of where this new version of yourself you're more unapologetic less attached to shame all right you're less afraid of taking up space in a room scorpio 
All right. I, you, you've been doing some personal work, haven't you? And it's not going unnoticed, Scorpio. You think you could go into this reading here and feel as if like you're all so mysterious, honey. Little do you know, I have so many placements in Scorpio, honey. I, I know my Scorpio is here. I feel like there's like a new version of you here. Scorpio, where you are more bold, the bolder you are as that Knight of Wands. You know, the Knight of Wands doesn't worry about like if someone finds them interesting or not, they still speak their voice because they want to. Knight of Pentacles with this King of Cups. So it's interesting how financially for you or just your overall stability, Scorpio, seems to be associated with your emotional state. All right. Maybe you have like the better that you have been handling like your depression or just like things have calmed down for you. So not much is getting an emotional reaction out of you, Scorpio. It feels as if th things are starting to stabilize all around you in your life. King of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Yeah. And then the Emperor card in the back of the deck. I'll show you all that in a moment. So yeah, Scorpio, I feel like the reason why things are starting to open up for you more. Notice how you got, um, again, all these alpha independent cards here. You were the leader of the pack, right? With all these kings and emperor here. All right. Three of Wands, King of Pentacles and Cups in this emperor. All right. So I feel as if the reason why life is starting to stabilize for you in the coming days, or if you're trying to figure out how to overcome a blockage why you might be feeling as if you're not progressing as quickly uh scorpio it's the sense of like confidence right that's what really uh is being exuded here with these three archetypes is like confidence confidence in yourself knowing what it is that you present to this world here all right maybe you are no longer um entertaining being around people that make you feel lesser than I feel as if for you, Scorpio, you have come to terms with something that you had, like, how would I put this? It's going to be weird to say, Scorpio. It's like there's a truth about yourself that you made your identity, but it wasn't actually your truth. So, for example, Scorpio, maybe uh, when you were growing up, like your family members would always be like, oh, like, Scorpio, you just talk all the time. Like, you're annoying when you talk. So it's like as you grew up, maybe you weren't referencing that specific situation but it's like it impacted you so you never really talk anymore because you're just like oh no one probably cares i don't want to be annoying or what have you right i see this sense of uh, more confidence in you here scorpio and it's allowing you to take action on signs that you already know for you like this is the thing scorpio i feel like in the coming days for you as you are able to just feel better about yourself feel more like in a more empowered version of yourself scorpio you're just taking finally taking action on the things that you already know that you need to do to be uh, successful to get to the destination that you've been wanting to go to right Scorpio think about it like this it's like you've been planning this road trip for a long time now but you never had the financial means to take that road trip out to wherever uh, in the coming days things are figuring things are figuring themselves out for you Scorpio so we have the finances to take that road trip and when you have the finances you there's no prep work it's just like immediate taking off so I feel like for you Scorpio whether this is in your career yeah I do feel like it's like a career thing or a project of some sort it's like you already know what you need to do to get through certain doors to how to be successful to uh, have that you know social life that you're looking for you just need to have that confidence you need to just have that time to yourself of where you're able to start feeling like that king of cups and pentacles and then i say this and then we pull the king of swords for you here uh scorpio the king of swords and take note again you're getting all the kings here scorpio i do feel as if on some level like i feel like i said this unless i said this in my head scorpio i feel like you are built for some level of like uh, notoriety like some sense of fame being a leader of some sort having being a leader of your own community having creating a community really because emperor energy creates their own community right it's not they don't they don't inherit a community they don't inherit a kingdom they build that kingdom using their voice again there is you know, with all three of these kings here scorpio it's like you've always had the intelligence You've always known the direction that you need to take to create that community, to create that business for yourself. You just needed to have that confidence. And I feel like that's building up for you. If you, ha if you again, if you are feeling as if you are stuck currently, you haven't been feeling this momentum, cherry energy in the back of the deck, 
start figuring out how you can get more comfortable in that emperor king of cups swords uh pentacles energy right because it's definitely happening here but you just have to be having a less of an attachment to shame to your imposter syndrome for some of you <laughs> of course the chariot comes right back out chariot three of swords knight of pentacles here you have to accept scorpio that your journey of growth your journey of success of development your journey of having that social situation situation figure itself out in your life you have to accept that you can't reference things from the past that have disappointed you and reference that to your future every you have to scorpio i see you finally able to move on here from previous upsets whatever hurt you in the past i feel like that took a blow to you but you're still standing you're still breathing scorpio so you're okay but you just i suppose you just needed to have that moment you know to be to yourself just as make sure that you're not carrying this identity with yourself in the coming days you know the knight of pentacles you'll take note of the artwork scorpio they're letting go of pentacles as they progress but they're still abundant they still have that big pentacle on their back they are never without scorpio do you understand so i see a lot of greatness for you scorpio i see a lot of potential you just have to figure out your healing journey and how to go from point a to point z in your personal development right willing release hello darling scorpio willing release here right learning how to release this old identity of yourself of where you thought that you your voice was too annoying that you are not talented enough skilled enough beautiful enough ace of pentacles knight of cups i want to challenge you scorpio to work on make it an intentional point every single day to work on manifesting opportunities being brought to you all right and this is a very specific message scorpio i'm not usually the type of tarot reader where it's just like yeah having something brought to your doorstep no darling you have to put in the work right but i feel as if for you as you do your shadow work as you release whatever you need to personally release knight of pentacles right what we talked about earlier as you do that you need to think about what you're putting back in the house you do the spring cleaning but it's you if you just do spring cleaning and throw away everything but you don't replace it with anything you just are left with an empty room an empty house so i feel like you and it might feel silly initially scorpio but i feel like you need to make it intentional every day to work on your attraction energy or work on like whatever it is that you're trying to manifest all right vision board or scripting or rituals or whatever it is that's your that's your business right i'm not here to try to tell you what you need to do be loved radical acceptance and i feel like funnily enough scorpio i feel like this radical acceptance is for yourself radically accepting that you are you know what we were just talking about right i don't need to repeat myself in that you get it scorpio radical acceptance the moment you start having practicing radical acceptance in yourself is when the rest of the world around you is going to practice that same radical acceptance that radical love unconditional love to you scorpio all right and I know even to my cynics out there where you're just like, no, they won't, Velka. I've tried in the past. Mm, I challenge you, darling. I challenge you again. Just because you failed the first time, does that mean that's forever the case? No. You can do that test over and over again. That's called life, darling. Your mantra for this week here, uh, Scorpio. This image looks like something right now that <laughs> I'm not going to say it because if you know, you know. But through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Through prayer and meditation, Scorpio, I, re I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. I'm going to just reference to what I was just saying, Scorpio. You know, when you're doing prayer every day, daily meditation, daily prayer, you're just really directing energy. You're taking a moment and being spiritual, being present, what have you. I feel like this is just a consistent reminder here, uh, Scorpio, 
of what it was I was just saying. So this is really confirming to what I was already intuitively feeling. Ultimately, Scorpio, I'm really confident about where your path is leading you. You have a, your work cut out for you for your personal self-development there, but I know you can handle it. That's who you are. That's you're the Scorpio, right? You are meant for, you are the epitome of transformations. You've already gone through so many up until this point and you still have so many in the future to go through. So I love you so much, Scorpio. Hopefully I can connect to you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.